This is Mrs. K here with part two of our introduction to physiology in which we'll discuss plants. Plants demonstrate a differentiation of cells, much more differentiated than fungi. Plant physiology can be understood in terms of tissue level, organ level, and even relatively simple uh, systems levels of organization. Um, first, let's discuss our cells and tissues. There are three types of plant cells. We have parenchymal cells, we have colenchymal cells, and sclerenchymal cells. Um, our parenchymal cells are, make up most of a plant cell, so most of the cells inside of a plant are categorized as parenchymal cells. Um, they are responsible for photosynthesis. Our colenchyma and sclerenchyma cells do pretty much the same thing. They provide structure and support for the plant. Now it turns out our sclerenchymal cell walls are filled with something called lignin. And lignin is a structural polymer. Um, the lignification process or the process of our sclerenchymal cells uh, filling up with lignin or um, becoming more and more comprised of lignin leads to the death of our sclerenchymal cells at their functional maturity. So basically our plant is made up of partially dead cells that still are able to carry out their functions because they consist of um, structural materials inside the cell. Somewhat like um, the way a building has scaffolding inside the school, um, or sorry, somewhat like a school has scaffolding inside the building that helps the other parts of the building stand up. We have three types of plant tissues. Um, our plant tissues are dermal, ground, and vascular tissues. Our dermal tissues are specialized parenchyma. They're parenchymal cells. And they include our stomates, so our stomata, remember the holes that let gases in and out of a leaf. And they also include the waxy cuticle, and that's the layer that protects a, uh, a leaf from desiccation. It protects the leaf from losing too much water. Um, our next type of tissue is ground tissue, and ground tissue includes all three cell types. Um, and it's mostly involved in photosynthesis at the leaf, storage of food, and support of the plant. Our vascular tissues are not found in bryophytes, so they're not found in plants like moss. Um, and they are basically the transport tubes of a plant. They contain specialized cells that comprise the xylem and the phloem of the plant. Um, and those two words should be familiar for you. The xylem transports water, and it's made of things called tracheids and vessel elements. Um, and it turns out that xylem is actually dead at its functional maturity. They just make up tubes, and it doesn't matter if the tubes are dead or not, um, they're just a tube that the water can flow through. Our phloem transports carbohydrates. Remember, phloem transports the food of the plant. They kind of sound alike. So phloem moves carbohydrates, and it's made of sieve tube elements and companion cells. So those two cells work together to comprise the phloem. Um, the sieve tube, el sieve tube elements are dead at functional maturity, and the companion cells help to regulate those sieve tube elements. We have three plant organs of which you'll be familiar. Um, we have leaves, stems, and roots. Leaves, um, their major function is photosynthesis, and they can be modified for other functions. We have reproductive leaves, and some plants, um, like our Venus flytrap, actually use their leaves to capture food. Um, our stems' major functions are uh, support and transport, but some stems are used for other things. Um, for example, some stems um, are used to store uh, carbohydrates inside of the plant. The roots' major functions include anchorage and nutrient and water absorption, but again, they can be modified to perform other functions as well. We have two systems of a plant. We have the shoot, which comprises all of the above ground elements, um, and the functions of the shoot include photosynthesis, floral, floral reproduction, and other functions. So we have different tissues that are working together to make different organs to make what we call the organ system of the plant, the shoot. And then the below ground elements are called the root. The root comprises all below ground elements and its functions include nutrient and water absorption from the soil and other things.